Match report Liverpool 11 Burnley It was yet another frustrating display by Liverpool at Anfield, as a resolute Burnley deservedly took home one point from the game. The Clarets took the lead 27 minutes into the game, courtesy of a brilliant finish by Scott Arfield, before Mohamed Salah equalised for the Reds three minutes later. Despite the quick response from the Reds, Jurgen Klopp's men could not break through Burnley's impressive defence, despite their attacking flair. Liverpool certainly enjoyed more of the ball with an incredible 70% possession but just did not have any end product. Having made several changes to the lineup from the previous game, Liverpool were probably expecting an easier day out against the Clarets but faced a resolute side that had already taken points off Chelsea and Tottenham last month. The first goal once again highlighted Liverpool's defensive fragility after Robbie Brady beat Alexander Arnold, heading in two to the Liverpool's box where Caven and Matip were busy holding off Chris Wood as the ball bounced to Scott Arfield who put Burnley 10 up. James Tarkovsky was outstanding for Burnley as he kept his side in the game, putting block after block. The second half saw Liverpool desperately seeking a lead, with runs coming from Philippe Coutinho and Mohamed Salah but the Reds ran out of ideas just when they approached the box. With more than 30 shots coming from Liverpool, barely half a dozen of them were on target. Burnley, on the other hand, had just four shots in the game of which one ended in the back of Liverpool's net. Daniel Sturridge, who played in the central forward role in the game, proved to be ineffective despite finding the opposition's goalkeeper on several occasions. Philippe Coutinho also failed to make an impact. In the final 10 minutes of the game, Jurgen Klopp took off Sturridge and Coutinho for summer signings Dominic Solanke and Alex Oxlady Chamberlain. Of course, it was too late for them to make a difference, although Solanke came close to scoring a winner in the dying minutes only to hit the bar. Burnley on the other hand, almost took the lead again after Ben Mee got on the end of two successive corners which were denied by Simon Mignola who kept the Reds in the game. Sean Dyke's side came to Anfield with a plan and executed it brilliantly. Letting Liverpool keep most of the possession, the Clarets held a strong defensive line and took the one opportunity they got from Liverpool's silly mistake. Overall, a deserving result for Burnley who kept out a proven attack like Liverpool. The reaction on Twitter was always expected and here are some responses that we came across shit performance check mark shit result check mark Salah soccer ball 5 goals 2 assists player of month goal of month shoms LGE player of week every cloud pick dot twitter dot com a 3 ig match LFC blogster at the blogs to September 16th 2017 Liverpool had 19 shots versus Sevilla 26 versus Burnley LFC scored 3 goals Sevilla had 3 shots Burnley had 4 shots Liverpool conceded 3 Three goals pig dot twitter dot com king three a gotch anfield nation at anfield nation september 16th 2017 it finished one to one between liverpool versus burnley scenes at anfield at the moment pig dot twitter dot com seven hicks three hour have blame football at blame football september 16th 2017 klopp's first half season two cup finals klopp's first full season cl with thin squad yet some want him out after five peter liters games in 1718 ffs alexi yarol at yarin Ulf, september 16th 2017 alex oxlady chamberlain signs for liverpool man city 50 liverpool crossmark liverpool 22 severe crossmark liverpool 11 burnley cross Mark Oxlade effect pick dot twitter dot com noige six h nine elsner footy memes at footy memes September sixteenth twenty seventeen Jurgen Klopp we played proper football it was our best game against Burnley since I've been here head has gone pick dot twitter dot com viet five Maui team affair team for September sixteenth twenty seventeen